Hello my YouTube friend, this is Now Mechanic here and today I want to do a review on this car steering wheel lock. This wheel lock is more than a wheel lock. You can use this to break the window in your car in case of emergency. It can also be used for self-defense. Hopefully we never need to use this for self-defense but this car steering wheel lock is more than a lock. Let me just read a little bit of what the manufacturer says. It says that it is high quality steel. According to the manufacturer test, it takes more than 45 minutes to cut all three parts. And most these will surrender within five minutes. This is very safe for car owners. It is easy to use. It is not only a car lock, but also a self-defense weapon. Hopefully we never need to use it for that. At the same time, it can also break the window glass to escape danger. So let's open the box, let's see what's inside, and let's lock the car. Before I open the box, I wanted to read something that I think is very important. It says that it's a universal fit. The three section telescopic hydraulic lock can be compressed according to the height of the steering wheel, brake, pedal, and clutch. As long as the steering wheel is within the range of 58 centimeters through 85 centimeters. The 90% car height is about 75 centimeters. The locking range is adjustable for vans, cars, SUVs, and trucks. So let's see what's inside. This is how it looks inside. We have the owner's manual. It comes with three keys. I never seen keys like this. It's like the key is roundish over here and then inside has a couple of T's and holes. They gave us three of them. And right inside, we have the lock. This is how the lock looks out of the box. And this right here, you definitely could use this to, for self-defense to protect yourself. Definitely. Also, the way it looks, you can use and break your window in case you need, an, in an emergency, you need to break your window you definitely can use this to break your window. Now here, I notice this part right here goes in the steering wheel. This part right here goes where the brake is at. In here, where the steering wheel goes at, they put like a cushion. And they send an extra one here in case this one wears out. And the reason why they do that is for the steering wheel will not get scratched. That's a good idea. Now here, this is where the key will go at. And over here, where the brake will go at, the outer is plastic, but inside, you can know, you can feel that is metal. Now you also can see, it's like a pump. Okay, let's see a little bit more of what is what it has. Let's see what the manual says. Okay, it says that it's made out of high quality A3 steel and aluminum oil. Excuse me, aluminum alloy. Sorry about that. And then right here for the keys, it says that it's a class B or cop copper lock cylinder. So this is how it looks. I never used one of these before. So let's see what they're telling us to do. So like it's only four easy steps. Step one, insert the key into the lock cylinder and turn and turn turn it on. Step two, adjust the length of the lock and hook the clutch brake or pedal. 
So you're gonna, whichever you wanna do, you wanna do the brake or the pedal. So you're gonna put the blue one in the bottom. Step three, put, a, put another hook to lock the steering wheel. That's the, this, this one right here. Step four, remove the key and tighten and tighten it. So, let's go. Let's do this. Let's lock the car. Let's follow the direction of what they told us to do or how to use this. We're gonna take the key. We're gonna put it on and once we take the key, we're gonna turn it to unlock it. And once you unlock it, you see the three stages they were talking about. One, two, and three. And this feels kind of, it feels solid. So let's see how long it takes us to put it in. Don't forget that the blue part goes in the pedal and the metal piece, this one right here, goes in the steering wheel. So let's see how long it takes us. So we'll push this down. Put this here. Once it's connected, as you can see, you take the key out. You turn the key. Once you turn the key, you do this, you grab it again, and you you hear it lock? It lock. And I don't see how they're gonna cut this um right away. This is gonna take at least 45 minutes to cut these three stages to take your car. It's definitely not gonna take five minutes to take this car. Once they see this, a thief is gonna be discouraged because they wanna do something quickly. So now to take it off, we take the key. We put the key in, we turn it. And once you turn it, you hear it unlock. You gotta leave the key there, you lift it up. Get it out, take the key out, and bring this down. And there it goes. It fit right in my hand. So this right here is something I recommend, especially if you, if you live in the city. You know how people are just trying to take people's cars. I recommend this. If you want to get something like this similar, I am going to put a, a, a link below for you can purchase it. So once again, this is Non Mechanic. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. Or contact me on nonmechanic101 at yahoo.com. That is nonmechanic101 at yahoo.com. And remember, if non-mechanic can do it, you can do it. Later.